purged. Yeah, you get through your house side. That's how we're purged. He said, I shall baptize you with what? The Holy Spirit, the word and fire. Mm -hmm. The fire is the affliction. See? But you're, you're purged through the, the blood of the Mashiach, man. Okay? Because because let's get that Isaiah fifty three. Let's stay in Isaiah Isaiah fifty three and five. Let me add right quick to the spirit. Right. And ultimately, we know um how uh, the scriptures say how the the, the elect are without fault for the throne of Most High, and their mouth has found no God. So because the, why they're covered in the blood of Yahweh shot Ultimately, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know. So yeah, we we fall short, but that's why our faith that you know our low willing we're part of the elect. That's why we say hopeful. We continue with doing and giving diligence. You see that we we believe that we're covered in the blood of Yahweh Shai because we have all the ultimate faith in Him and His Son, and knowing that our works is not going to save us, but we show works by, um, by our faith that we have. It starts with faith. If you don't believe, you're not going to go out there and do it. You know, so you're not going to try your best to keep the high holy days. Try your best to keep the commandments unless you have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But like the brothers going into, you have to understand Yahweh Shai, understand the the importance of our Lord and our Savior. That's why He's our Savior for a reason. He's our mediator, our high priest. He's the old that sacrificial lamb. You see that? He was all of that for us, man. Our big brother. You see? Our king. You see? He's all of that for us, man. So he's like he's like our lawyer, man. You're going to go straight to the judge by yourself try to defend yourself? You're going to go straight to jail, man. And oh, do yeah. life and probably get a death penalty. You don't know the language they speak amongst themselves and all that. Kind. That's why, you, that's why they, they, uh, they appoint you lawyers. Yeah, they you don't know? want you to represent yourself. They don't. I remember some Jake got to do that. I believe some Jake did that. He, he got to do that life, man. He thought he, thought he was going to represent his own self. You don't know the you don't know the law, you, you don't even know this you don't know it, man. But think about it. That's the love the heavenly Father has for His elect. You know the elect men, women, and children as ordained to believe. Man, starting with the men, of course. You couldn't you couldn't go straight to the Most High with the first covenant. I mean, I don't know. Con, con. the first covenant, the high, only the high priest go to the uh, second. Yeah, day. yeah, yeah. To the, uh, uh, the the day of atonement, holy. He's the only one that could approach the ark of the covenant. And anyone's touch it, they can put you to get death. put to death. Remember the guy, he, he um, it fell off. The, he tried to catch it. And he got put to death on the spot. And his eyes, he was doing a good deal. Yeah. I was about to fall. You yeah. catch it very quick. Yeah. And even King David got, like, got yeah. scared. He got pissed yeah. off. Like, damn. Yeah. Like, and that ruined his day when he heard about it. You know? See, yeah. So the, the Lord, he's the, he, he gave us the, that, that mediator, man. You know? <laughs> he said, I'm not dealing with him. Jake, Jake, Jake uh, I want to go straight to the whole side. You know what I mean? He, the, even the fabric you have is not even. Come on, uh, man. There was a whole process. He need the, for the high priest even to do that whole thing, man. Everything had to be perfect. You had to burn incense, right? Everything had to be right, man. Why? Because the presence of the Most High is coming down. Yeah. You can't just go any old to the Ark of the Covenant. He just finished with his wife. I'm going to just go real quick. I'm going to get back to you. That nigga would have got put to death right there on the spot, man. He, he drunk, you know, yeah. he just finished drinking. If you, if you drink, oh, I, I, drinking in the midst of the congregation, that was death, man. Okay, he had to do everything right, because why the Most High about, that's, that's serious, man. The Most High about to come down, the Ark of the Covenant, his presence, have to be, everything has to be tip-top, correct. If he did anything that wasn't right, he, he'll drop dead, man. Okay, so you can't just approach the Father any old way, man. You couldn't approach the mercy seat any old way. You had to be, and only one man could do it. So in this new covenant, oh, I'm going to just, people who don't believe in the Messiah, that's what we used to keep asking the Old Testament Israelites, where is your temple? Where is your sacrifice? Who is your high priest? And we still can't get an answer from any of you clowns, man. All right? For all the, where we talk, because we talked to a couple of them, talked to a couple of them up there, and we kept asking them, where is your temple? Where is your sacrifice? Who is this priest? Who is he? Where is he at? Show us. Because under the first covenant, you can't go straight to the Most High, the, the mercy seat, the Ark of the Covenant, unless you have a high priest. And if you show us your high priest and say this is him, then we're going to say, show us the genealogy and prove that you go back to the line of Aaron. Mm. Okay? If you want to need the first covenant. See? So, if, you know, that whole thing don't make no sense, man. You don't make no sense, man. Get out of here with that, man. What you got? Isaiah 50. What, what were you saying? I, I was holding Isaiah Oh, you got 53. 53 and 5. Yes, read that. Okay. This is Isaiah 53 and 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Mm. With his stripes we are healed, man. Yeah, so who was that? Who was that? Who was Isaiah talking about? Remember Deuce say Hezekiah? <laughs> the Old Testament Israelites would say that, Hezekiah. Show us in the scripture where Hezekiah was bruised for our iniquities. 
Nigga, what are you talking about? It's everybody but the Mashiach. Who is he talking about, man? Let's read verse 1. Okay. Isaiah 53 and 1. That cuts with that, that. That's what we ask the so called Jew up there. The Amalekite. We ask him, oh, but I don't deal with that new. We went straight to the Old Testament. Who's Isaiah talking about, man? Mm. Who's he talking about? For you, uh, you, uh, you Amalekites. We're still waiting on him. He said, oh, but he said some lie, man. He said, um, we not waiting on a messiah. He's like, well, in ninety, in the ninety nine, the nineties, there was this guy in Brooklyn called Manak Skiasa. They said he was a messiah. He dropped dead, man. Okay, so you all, you still waiting on a messiah? Them so called idiotic, uh, fake Jews, man. The Malachites, man. You still, you waiting on a messiah? Isaiah fifty three. Who was that talking about? That's the Old Testament. Y'all have the Tanakh in your hand. All right, yeah. Isaiah fifty three and one. Who have believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root of a of a dry ground. He hath no form, nor nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Yeah, because he didn't come uh, with that majestic, uh, royal, flamboyant look. You know, like when he came at Solomon, he didn't come like that. He was like. That's the Messiah. I don't know about that. But Yahweh Shai said, don't believe on me. Don't look at me. Look at the very works. Look what I'm capable of doing. That's far greater than the appearance. That's what he said. Judge not according to appearance. So see, the Mosai, see how we look at things. The two top men of the Lord didn't come like that. Yahweh Shai didn't come like that. John the Baptist was rough. Like we said, John the Baptist wouldn't have been on GQ magazine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, he had the, uh, the camel hair garment, man. Rough, rough looking dude, man. Okay? So that's what the scripture says. That when we see him, there was no comeliness. Like, oh, I don't know. That can't be the Messiah. Mm -hmm. See? Because Jake, our people get caught up on what? That's why they don't approach us like that. Because we, we got sackcloth. You know? Who's up here decked out? Yeah, we had the, uh, the, the uh, custom uh, Louis... Uh, or, or, or whatever uh, yeah, God, Italian brand. The Lambo Park. Yeah, the right, Lambos yeah. Park, the Lambo, the Aston Martin, the Ferraris. Uh -huh. We had gold, diamonds. Yeah. You know Lucky Eves on the benches just yeah, watching. Yeah, Eve, mm -hmm. Eve, all, our, all the Eves, the congregation, everybody decked out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We used to be standing on gold. Brother, brother, brother got the golden staff. Con, con. Yeah. You know what I <laughs> mean? People going to go, whoa, what's that about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know? People gonna be like, what the hell is that about? Let me go sleep. Let me quiet. And the only thing they're gonna be caught up on, you how you brothers look, how you how you brothers get all that. They're not gonna care about the word, man. Yeah. You know? That's why the most I ain't doing it that way, man. Because if, yeah. like, if someone does come up, like, with, um, sincere brothers come up, they coming up sincerely, you know, if they come up sincerely, of course. They're not coming up because they see brothers decked out and stuff. They coming yeah. up because they the yeah, word. The word. They coming to hear the word, man. Yeah, people yeah. decked out, that's all people want to know. How you get this? How you get this? Was this custom made? Y'all ain't brothers get it. Your brothers are good, man. Y'all look. He ain't gonna be. He won't even care about the word, man. Right? See, the Most High would get no praise or glory, man. It'll just be about the appearance. Okay. All right. What precept? What are we reading? What you got? I was in Isaiah 53. Yeah. So the scripture says, "What he had no comeliness." Let's read on. God. Isaiah 53 and three. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows. And acquainted with grief. Yeah, who is that talking about in the Old Testament? For people who don't believe in a Messiah, the Yah Israelites. Who is that scripture talking about, man? Mm -hmm. Explain that to us, man. Oh, we still waiting on a Messiah. He came already, man. Who is Isaiah? That's self-explanatory in the same scripture, man. Alright, go ahead. And we hid <clears throat> and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Yeah. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smiting of the Most High, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was wounded for our sins. Who was who was that? Yeah. He was bruised for our iniquities. He was who was bruised for Israel iniquities? Explain that to me, man. Yeah. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. It was upon him. Right? That's why John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God, which came to take away sin from the world. The world is Israel. 
Okay. Who is that talking about, man? Man, yeah, it, it literally says Hamashiach's passion for Torah. Exactly. Who is that talking about? People, oh, now nah, the Messiah ain't come yet. Who was, man, we don't even answer you, man. Because okay. Isaiah 53 is pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. Really don't need to even break that down, man. I get it. And with his stripes, we are healed. With his stripes, we are healed through his blood. Okay. That's the perfect sacrifice. Oh, we're going to read it after the end. Can you read? Is anything more to me? Yeah. Carry on to chapter, uh, to, uh, chapter 53, verse 6 in Isaiah. Oh, we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. The Lord laid upon him the sin of us all. That's why the presence of the Most High left him when he was on the cross. Right? Because he looked filthy. Because why? The Most High eyes can't stand to look at what? Iniquity tells you that book have a couple, man. All right, he took on all the sins of the nation. So Yahushua died the worst death. He was unrecognizable, man. He was disfigured, man. All right, go ahead. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. Oh, you know what cuts? You know what? When that happened, I think that's Matthew twenty-seven twelve. Or oh, what you got? Read Matthew twenty-seven. Scripture says he opened not his mouth. Matthew chapter 27 and verse 12. And when he was accused of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. There you go. That was a fulfillment of that. He didn't try to defend himself. That's what say he opened out his mouth. He could have easily defend himself, but he understood it was what? It was prophecy. All right? Okay. Isaiah 53 and 8, he was taken from prison and from judgment. Who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people he was stricken oh god slacky i was actually in, in, in seven i'm gonna go back i'm gonna jump back up to seven isaiah 53 and seven he was oppressed and he was afflicted yet he opened out his mouth he is bought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shears is dumb so he opened out his mouth he was taken from prison and from judgment who shall declare his generation for he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people was he stricken there you go let's read on let's, let me add him a little more and then we're going to jump and he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death and the woman is that fulfilled he made his grave with the wicked and the rich in his death matter of fact read verse 44 Matthew 27 and verse 44 the thieves also which were crucified with him cast the same in his teeth there you go he was he, didn't he die with the two thieves and as you says the rich when you read verse 57 i think 57 when the evening was come there came a rich man of our Arimathea yeah, named joseph. joseph there you go yeah he paid for the lord's tomb that's the fulfillment of isaiah 53 so what are you guys saying he didn't come yet we just broke it down man right right there in the scriptures man that's self-explanatory, but only those with eyes and ears and hair could, could get it, man. Right. The scripture is, is, is pretty much plain. He fulfilled that prophecy. Let's get at Luke 24, 44. A precept, you had him something holding? Yeah, I had 1 John 1 and 17. And I had a precept in 1st. No, I had John 1 and 17. 17. Yeah, yeah. And I had 1 John 1 and 7. Can we read that real quick? We'll get Luke. Yeah, matter of fact, get Luke 24, 40, and then we're going to read first. Okay. John 14, yeah, Luke 24, 44. So we broke down Isaiah 53. The Messiah came already. That's the point. All right? So you guys still looking? You either repent or get put to death. That's right. Straight up, man. Because that's you just being a clown. We're making it plain upon tables. It was plain. Broken. Plain. plain. There's nothing more. There was nothing complicated about that. All right? Let's read. Luke. This is St. Luke chapter 24 and verse 44. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you that all these things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me all things had to be fulfilled that was written in the, the Psalm, the law of prophets concerning me man. we just read the prophets Isaiah the Psalms, Moses said this, there should one come like unto me that ain't Muhammad, because that's the scripture Muslims use, say that's Muhammad Muhammad wasn't, a, uh, Ishmael wasn't our brethren 
the fuck are you talking about, man? Ishmael was rejected. Right? And his mother, Hagar. The Lord said, yeah, listen to your wife. Get that woman. I'm a blessing for your sake. But nah, he's not my chosen. I'm not dealing with him. I'm dealing with Isaac. Right? And like we said, the most high don't mixtape. He ain't gonna reject Ishmael. And after Messiah death, 600 years later, ah, you know what I mean? Let me go back to him. He don't get down like that, man. All right? So that that prophet was Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay? Period. All right, what you got? Oh, you read John 17 now? Okay. So, yeah, so he fulfilled that, Isaiah 53, ready. We, we broke it down to the spirit. All right? That's that's playing upon tables, man. Yeah. All right? But like Yahweh Shai said, it's given unto you to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Unto them it is not given. Because they kept saying, um, it was like the Messiah is not going to come out of Nazareth. When they kept saying Yahweh Shai Nazareth. But they didn't know that he was born in Bethlehem. You see? And he could have easily told them, listen, I, I was born in Bethlehem. Herod passes the decree. We went to Egypt. And then we, we settled in that. But he have to break it down to them. If you truly believe on me, then that was it, man. I don't have to go through different ex explanations for you guys to get it. I ain't doing that, man. All right? My sheep hear my voice. Period, man. All right, go ahead. Come on. This is St. John 1 and 17. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. See that? Grace and truth. This grace period to get out together, the, the time uh, ran between two covenants, the old and the new. We have this grace period to get our act together, repent, because of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Under the law, we can put to death for certain acts, man. That's, that's grace, mercy. Mercy. That's what we're going to read. Let's get Psalms 130. Most High gave us grace. But if the Most High wasn't gracious, the world would be empty. The whole world would just be empty. You know, he would have reset the world a couple of times over, man. I mean, he wasn't gracious. I think we have a quick reset. Yeah, yeah. Uh, First John one and seven. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Yahweh Shammashiach, his son. Cleanse us from all sin. There you go. That's the sacrifice, a perfect sacrifice. And it's perfect because, um, like we went into the Levitical priesthood a little bit, um, every year they had to do it. Now, every single year he had to do that. Yahweh Shai did it once and for all. That's it. Okay? Because in the high priest, every year he had to do it every single year, the um, Ark of the Covenant. And it, it was happening in a time when Israel wasn't even keeping no law, man. Okay, because you go into the, the scriptures, it, most of them damn kings are wicked as hell anyway, man. Right? They were, all, they were wicked as shit. There was only a handful that were righteous, man. So they weren't even rehearsing the righteous acts, man. They, didn't the scripture tell you they were giving their kids up to the fire? Mm -hmm. That's what the most I got the Babylonians and the Assyrians to tackle um, Israel, man. God people was just going off, man. Like today, they going off heavy, man. Jay going off on another level, man. Right? That's what the most I say, you what? You are a degenerate plan. They cursed out Kevin Samuels, these Eves, and everything Kevin Samuels said about you was 100 percent fact, man. Okay? You know? And Kevin Samuels got a mercy death. You know, a quick heart attack, and that was it. You woman, you literally gonna eat your children, man. We just told we may get to the famine because that's that's the spirit that's it that's out right now. Famine, man. Everything Yahweh Shai said was gonna happen. Matthew twenty four, wars and rumors of wars, Russia, Ukraine, pestilences, C nineteen, monkey now, the monkey pox, right? Then they say what? Famine, 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 man. That's the spirit of this year too, man. Okay. I saw he just he sent his agent out there that mind control bug out to, to shoot you Jake's oh, up. Oh man, yeah. Right? That guy was a MP, he was MK Ultra, man. Period, man. Alright, and more and more gonna happen, man. Because they stirring up conflict. You see? It's so easy to see through they 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 bullshit, man. Yeah. The, the, the whole thing is domestic terrorism. See? And then Yahweh Shai talked about what family. He said what? Signs in the sun, signs in the moon. Right? We just had another 
blood moon, man. And that, this whole week has just been crazy, man. Lamentation and mourning is coming. More is coming. Okay? The year of the turn up, man. Uh, and y'all about you shot been turning up. And six months from now, America not going to look. Even now, you might even see people walking their dogs. It's calm, man. You ain't going to be jogging. Because why? Every every month is going to get worse. When gas stock going up seven, eight dollars, the diesel fuel shortage, they already tell you you can't even get baby formula. Mm. Right? You can send forty billion dollars to Ukraine. Yo, baby formula? Mm. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, make it make sense. Right? And there's all kind of items that's gonna be start missing and trucks can't move. Then there's gonna be more attacks. There might be more protests in the summer because it's abortion thing. Um and like we said, um I saw he's gonna um, orchestrate a lot more things. And then we got this whole monkey thing happening, which that might be way more fatal than the C-19. And how to is how it is. And you're going to see it on people, man. Yeah. Yep. See? It's going to be crazy, man. It's going to get crazy, man. Yep. And it's going to shake a lot of people's faith. And if you don't have the edge of protection, you're going to get through. caught up. You're going to get caught, caught up, up, man. And, of course, they're going to demonize the men of the Lord. They're going to yep. come after the men of the Lord. That's it's right. going to go down, man. It's going to really go down, man. Right? Yeah, I was shy said in that same chapter, he shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. So I shall may do some might be a crazy attack. Thousands of people to death. Oh, and the men, the people who carried out are part of the, the black Hebrew Israelite group. Revolutionary group who talk about killing whites and the destruction of America. And, yep. you know what I'm saying? And, and, and uh, they've been showing that by uh, this dude named Frank James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember they, they showed his YouTube channel yeah, yeah, yeah. and on the news that he's. Yo, they said him and R. Kelly are best friends in prison. I'm like, what the <laughs> hell <laughs> going on, man? Oh, my goodness. Who said that? I think it was a fucking angel, man. Yeah. Everybody knew that, man. Yeah. Yeah. See? They're they gonna have brother's channels lined up on a news anchor, show all the videos, and they're gonna have they gonna edit it to make brother say, "Oh, Kendrick, one of Kendrick Lamar's new songs." He posted a video, and it showed his face change to O.J. Simpson's, Nipsey Hussle's, uh, who else? Kobe's, and it looked like it was them talking, but it wasn't. So they have that type of technology. They're gonna have brother saying stuff we never even said. Kendrick Lamar's a wicked ass nigga. You gonna get put to death? Yeah, he, he he he's playing along for the agenda, man. He's you, showing you, that left hand. Yeah, yeah. You had your opportunity. Can't say the Lord ain't merciful, right? but you were never His anyway. Come but on. you had you had your opportunity to seek the Most High and get riches in heaven. But you chose you sided with this wicked side of my world. So you are gonna get put to death, man. That's Straight right. up and down, man. Lord ain't playing with you, niggas, man. What do you what's what's in the cesspool kingdom? You let us know. Money, fame, women. That should get tiring after a while because you can see it on these guys' faces. You can see all these rappers and these these celebrities' faces, man. They look miserable, man. Takashi Sakai told you straight up and down, he's a slave. He said, I have to do meetings with these people. I don't have a choice in the matter. Mm. Maybe when he was breaking it down, he said, I have to, man. Okay? They're literally, they're slaves, man. And a lot of them niggas is under mind control, man. Yeah. Right? That's where they have, what, different personalities. Right, Nicki Minaj told you the character that she she's with, the spirit that controls her. Roman, Roman, Roman yeah. Right, and, Sasha she, said, and she said it's a masculine it's spirit. A, yeah, too. yeah. She said that. From living spirits, they're, they're masculine, they're males. Yeah, yeah. he's. Yeah. You know, there's no female fucking uh, demon or angel. They're all men. So, Male, masculine. Yeah, yeah. so that's masculine. spirit that's controlling her. That's yeah. spirit on her to tell you when to be rebellious. Yeah. See, it's a spirit, man. They make contracts with spirits, and they miserable as hell. They miserable, uh -huh. man. That's a lot of them can't sleep. That's why, like we said, Kendrick Mar, he was on a hiatus for five years. What was going on those five years? Battling. He, he was, was battling. Battling. We're going through it. Yeah. Catching. He probably super right. Shaw was catching. like, "Yo, we gonna take A, B, C, D," and he like, "Yo, I got a family. I, oh, man, I gotta get back." Yeah, they probably was calling him. Hey, you ready? Made you made that decision, man. Yeah. You owe us the album. So what yeah. you gonna do? We can't talk about the edge stuff anymore. What's going on with you, man? Yeah, what's going on? You gonna push this agenda or not, man? We gonna have to, you know. Yeah, cause like we said, your whole trans relatives. Why did you have to even make a song on that? God. Why not just keep it like that private? You got yeah. trans in your family. Okay, so what? My sister's gay or whatever. So what? Make your music like you always made, man. But yeah. Why? Why specifically zone in on that? Because you are part of the agenda. And they probably, they probably, did they just become um, 
and not trans, whatever. No, they probably been trans. They probably been trans. And he's making regular he's music. He's making music, yeah. But now he's, he's, he's for, like, I, going, I doubt, for the agenda. Man. I doubt they had transformation happened within the last two years. Sketching is full of shit. He's full of shit, man. They probably been did that, man. Yeah. But you just, um, because you playing, you try to get on the elite good side. What, what should we say? Oh, trim is that way? Let's get that Jeremiah 225, somewhere around there. Oh, 21. <clears throat> and again, what precept you got? Uh, Psalms 130. Oh yeah, we gonna hold that. Yeah, Get Ecclesiastes nine and twelve. Yeah, man. Jeremiah like, two or twenty five or thirty five? Oh, uh, twenty five, twenty one. It's a wide trip. Start way somewhere around. Here. I think it's twenty five. It's Jeremiah 2 and 33. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? That's what he's doing. Because back in the day, which them rappers were always homo, but it was never. And the boondocks used to expose that way back then. Yeah. Gangs yeah. delicious. Yeah, yeah. Like them top rappers, you think it's hardcore and killing people and shooting niggas and then and niggas is doing all kind of foul shit. This is why they um he left the show, Aaron McGrew. He was just bringing out too much subliminally. Right? And uh, you could tell the show got whack after he left. Like, it's just whack. And I don't even think it's Aaron anymore. But when it was at its height, he was bringing, showing you bits and pieces, man. The whole gang salicious people saying it was 50 or whatever the case is. But showing you a lot of these guys, they play, they just playing a role. Yeah. See, but now it's just completely out in the open, man. Completely, man. Because rap was supposed to be like a real, you know, masculine genre. You know what I mean? Gangster, the baggy clothes, the baggy pants. You know what I mean? Talking about killing niggas, drugs, FDs, hoes, you know, which is all folly any damn way, man. But it had more of a masculine tone to it. You know? F the police, right? Now every every agenda now niggas is down with. L G B T Q I A P. You know what I mean? Oh man, just all kind of wickedness, man. Alright, just wickedness, man, and folly, man. Alright? The, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, what's this clown name? The Little Bees and niggas are straight demon, devil worshiping in the, in the videos, man. Yeah. Like, is the, the, the song has, has nothing to do with anything, man. All right? Pushing all this Luciferian shit on the damn video, man. Back then it was more, it was there, but you couldn't, re you had to have eyes to really see yeah. it. Yeah. See? Nowadays the videos don't even match the song. They don't even match the song. No, they just, they, they, you they, think they, it's a love song, like yeah. uh but it's, he's really rapping to um um them demons of principalities, man. Yeah. You know? It's, it's, uh, man, this is far to the left, man. What you got? Therefore, hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. Yeah, our people, man. They, they when they go off, they really go off. Right? He go, they go all the way in, man. Why do you think the most I said what he said? Two thirds to their, um, shall be cut off and die. Right? Our people, they took, they take wickedness to another level, man. That's why Aisha, he know is all about turning you out. Because if he can get to turn out the Israelite, man, he, you can get it to be hippo cool. Everybody else will follow. We think all these other, um, these, uh, these other nations in Russia and the Middle East, and they, 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 many, they, they, he, um, um, and th that whole gangster rap thing spread globally, man. All right, everybody in the world know who Jordan is. So you could be in Afghanistan, fucking they know who Jordan is, man. How, man? Because Jake is a salt to the earth, man. They know who Michael Jackson is, all that, man. You see, uh, that's what the scripture says. Judah shall be what uh, the praise of all his brethren. See, he has the most influence yeah. out of all the tribes. Even though he, they consider him only 12% of the, the American population, but globally he's known, right? Through his what, his music and his entertainment. You see, guy, what you got? Oh, I had a quick precept, right quick. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, Jeremiah, and I still, I, I'm sorry, right? Uh, nine as well. But Jeremiah chapter five, verse 28. They are waxing. I'm oh, sorry, 27, 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait 
as he that set of snares, they set a trap, they catch men. Yeah, that whole rapping shit. Because who do, who do kids look up to? It's these wicked ass entertainers, man. Right, that's what they pushing these agendas. And it's a trap. It's yeah, a snare. It's a they, snare. They catching them. It's getting them young. Yeah. Who who that NWA? They were used back then. Yeah. They wanted to keep pushing that gangster gangster rap because rap was conscious when it first came out. Yeah, it was. It was conscious, man. And Common made that song. Hip hop was beautiful until she, until she went west. Ice Cube was pissed about that song because he was comparing hip hop. Show you, Jake is the one who wrote the scriptures. Um, hip hop he described it as a woman and he said that when she was on the east coast she was beautiful when she went west she got polluted she talked talking about shooting and killing and all that so you know all you niggas are wicked because Ben Bada who's one of the forefathers of um, rap that nigga is straight up and down Satan okay Satan man I'm surprised he's still breathing man the amount of wicked ass shit he's done man KRS One, one of the forefathers, was sticking up for him. Mm. Right? So what were them niggas into, man? Alright? And he was a conscious rapper back then. See? Because they know our people, they what? They follow trends. Right? I saw he knows he knows your makeup, man. That's what the Bible calls you what? You a sheep. Right? You're not really up on game like that, man. You easily misled. All right, what you got? Con, verse 27. Jeremiah 5 and 27. As the cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. They are waxen fat. They shine. Yea, they, over, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. Yeah, we're getting on some of that, man. Like little Nas X asked him in an interview, what's with this gay agenda? He said, yeah, you know, we get around. We have the robes on. We pray. You try to make the world gay, everybody gay, your kids gay. But you're saying it like a joke, but it's not a joke. You're serious. And he's like, uh, yeah, because we're all about depopulation. That's the agenda. But he was saying it like he was being facetious, so it was a joke. But he's not, he's not lying to you. How we know he's not lying? Because he, he, he's, he's, you can see his actions. And a man may be, let's get that, a man might be known by his look. looks. Isaiah 3 and 9. And not only that, he himself had some devil worshiping sneakers or whatever with blood in it. Yeah, Nigga's telling you, he's telling you the truth, man. They get around, they pray to them demons and spirits, all right? The, the top, one of the warlocks who, who supposedly repented, um, which I don't believe that shit, but um, he said it himself. John was his name, wicked ass Simeonite. I don't know if you've seen that video years ago on witchcraft, he's breaking it down. Oh, you showed show me that, yeah. Yeah, he said um, every, every year at Times Square, the top warlocks, and he said it's just like drug dealing. Certain warlocks control this area. Certain warlocks control another area. They're not supposed to go in different, they, they know different jurisdictions. Certain spirits control here, some spirits will control here. But Times Square, during a time of, um, in an undisclosed location, they said they all meet up at a hotel. And while the ball is dropping, they, they put up curses. And they pray for more young people to be lost. They said that. And they said they pray for it to be more homosexuality. He said that. Those are one of their prayers that they put up. You see? He said it himself, man. That's why the scripture says you're not battling flesh and blood. You're not. You're battling principalities, rulers and darkness in high places, man. Okay, this truth is more than what the eye could see, man. There's spirits, man. Yeah, going back to Lil Nas X very quick. Yeah. When he started off, he started off like a cowboy for the, for the children. You know, old time road, all the kids singing it and stuff like that. And it just that kids, man. Ghosts led to the slaughter. They saw the influence. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yep. And right, right after that, he just... Yeah, because I don't see no... And Kendrick Lamar is the type of dude he could actually go... Uh, he's like one of the few rappers that 